Beethoven's ninth and last symphony, or was it? Eight days before his death in 1827, Beethoven wrote of a new symphony which lies already sketched on my desk. These are Beethoven's deathbed sketches. Now they've been assembled from archives in Bonn, Berlin and Vienna and pieced together for the first time. In 1817, at the height of his powers, Beethoven was asked to write two symphonies for the London Philharmonic Society. The request came from Ferdinand Rees, who was still waiting for the new works when Beethoven fell terminally ill. Rees advanced £100 and Beethoven sent his sketches. Beethoven's biographer, Karl Holtz, claimed the composer played the first movement to him on the piano in his study in Vienna. Holtz's description of its unusual form exactly fits the sketches. What was meant to be Beethoven's tenth has had to wait more than 160 years for a fully orchestrated performance, not in Vienna where it was written, nor by the London Philharmonic which commissioned it, but by the Royal Liverpool Philharmonic Orchestra. The man who made it possible was musicologist Dr Barry Cooper. It took him six years to select and arrange sketches for the first movement, the only one it was possible to complete. The result is an artist's impression of the last thoughts of the world's greatest symphonist. All the sketches I've found are very short, no, none more than about 20 or 30 bars at the most, sometimes a lot shorter than that. And so it was rather like having a lot of pieces for a jigsaw puzzle, trying to put them into the right positions. My job has been to try and work out what he intended to write and what he had in mind at the time. And so from that point of view, a lot of the harmony and so on will be mine, but it'll be mine having worked out what he probably would have done. All the inspiration is Beethoven's, and the basic shape of the movement is Beethoven's as far as I can tell. There's a, a sketch here for part of the first movement, and it says horns. And then after that, there's the main theme. And it just says etc. after that, but we can get the next bit from a different sketch. And then you get to the fast section, which is here. So from there, you've got to build up a uh, long, slow introduction, which, as uh, say, you get from other sketches. And so you have to harmonize them as well. So you have your horns still stay. Then you have the tune harmonized. Some of the harmony I've had to make up on the basis of what Beethoven normally did and what sounds right. Some of it is actually in the sketches. Um, as regards the instrumentation for that bit, another sketch indicates that that has to be played by the woodwind, so we can get the instrumentation, unaccompanied woodwind. And then we have the main theme, which I have to harmonize, and again, there's some of that harmony is in the sketches already. I have to add a little trill there. Originally, it's just that. But it's just the sort of place where Beethoven put in a trill in the final version, so I put in a trill, and, and so I've gone on from there. He's a very unpredictable composer, of course, much more so than most. And so there were certain places where you could say, well, he'd probably do something unpredictable here, but of course you can't predict what it would be. After he finished the Ninth Symphony, uh, nobody had specifically asked for a Tenth Symphony, but people had specifically asked for several string quartets. And he urgently needed the money because he was needing to support his nephew, who was at the Polytechnic. This was costing something like 2,000 florins a year. For one quartet, he could get 360 florins straight off. If there'd been more ready demand for the symphony, I think he'd have written that instead. Would your feeling be that it would have been a worthy successor to the Ninth Symphony? I think it would have been very different from the Ninth Symphony, and it might have been on the same sort of scale. 
I think it would have certainly been a worthy successor to the whole series of Beethoven's nine symphonies, but I don't think it would, it would compare in the same sort of way to the, the grand sort of choral finale that we get in the ninth symphony. So it wouldn't have, it wouldn't have overshadowed the ninth symphony, but I don't think it would have been dwarfed by it either.